Please welcome the very beautiful Kelly Rowland, everybody. Kelly Rowland. Hello, You look lovely. Look at you all fashioned out with your hat Thank and everything. Thank you. I got dressed up for you, of course. You did? Of course I did. I had to slip on a really nice pair of shoes today. They're uncomfortable as hell. Let me see. But they're fantastic. Can I see them? I can see These are? Wow. Yeah. What's that? Is that like disco snake skin or something? <laughs> we'll call it that. Disco snake skin. Disco snake skin. That's fine. Look at that. Yeah, I like it too. Can I see? Oh, <laughs> hey. That's that right. That thing is scary. Looking. What? This, this, that, that? Man, come you on. frightened of snakes? Come on. I do no. not like snakes. Really? You know what, though? When I was in Australia, maybe like two years ago, I uh, saw a brown snake. You know, those brown snakes is one of the ten deadliest snakes in the whole wide world. It is not. Yes, it is. And I was this close to it. Well, you, you shouldn't have been. Well, I, <laughs> well, I was curious. Well, that curiosity killed the cat. I knew you were going to say that. But it, I mean, I did want to say, you know, oh my God, I was close to death. I looked death right in its face. Yeah, you, well, you, there's more fun ways to do it than just going, <laughs> going near a snake. That's just, that's just insane. I'll never do that again. Well, you don't have to do it again. You've done it now. You can click it off your exactly. bucket list thing. Yeah. Hey, you know, your co-host of your show, uh, Isaac, was here last week. Don't you love Isaac? I do. Did he mention me when he got he back? He did, yeah. he did. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but he has the biggest crush on you. Stop. I mean, I, I, I know you're married and all. You know, yeah. Congratulations. And also the whole, the whole straight thing as yeah, well. Yeah, of, of course. I can't believe I didn't even factor that in. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> well, there's the European thing too, so that takes you back. Uh, but no, he absolutely loves you. Really? That's nice. Yeah, yeah. No, but... Really? That's nice. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> So, uh, the, like, hosting the show now, what about the singing and everything? Well, I mean, I still have it. I just did a record uh, with uh, this amazing French DJ. His name is David Guetta. The song's called When Love Takes Over. It's so amazing. When love takes over. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's one of, and for me, it feels like it's, it's fun. I have so much fun uh, performing the record. I just, I've been having a great time. Can I ask you a question? You can. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an old white guy question, so bear with me if it seems stupid, right? Listen. When you say you've been doing work with a DJ, right, and you've yes. been making a song with a DJ, yes. see, I, I got to be honest, I think me, I think a lot of other people, and they're too frightened to admit it, don't really know what a DJ does because I, what I think a DJ does is he goes, well, here comes the next record. And, uh, <laughs> So when you when you make a record with a DJ, uh -huh. what does the DJ do in the record? Does he mix stuff together? And you know what? There are so many DJs now who are extremely creative, and they. Follow I know, I know that, but I just don't know exactly no, what they do. I got you. I'm trying to explain. All right, okay, you. Okay. Let me explain. All right. So basically, now they're producing music. You know, like they'll probably get ideas while they're you know doing their DJ thing, and you know they'll probably put that on a track, and they make a record. So like if you're like you're mixing tracks together, and you go, oh, you know what would be good? A French horn. And then you go and get a... <laughs> Look, it's just a for example. <laughs> and then, then, then you go and get... Do not invite him to your wedding. <laughs> DJ, <laughs> Frank Ferguson, that's just perfect. Perfect. That's it. No DJ. No DJ. No, no. no, no the, so the... the, the um, the, they get an instrument then, all uh -huh. right, a groovier instrument, a French horn, a French French horn, horn and, they go, yeah. and they record that instrument and put it on top of the existing track, or they create a totally new existing track? They create a totally new track. All right, okay, yeah. well, they're, they're musicians. Then. They are, they really right. are musicians, and David is really phenomenal. And he's French, you say? He is French. Sometimes I can't understand what he's saying, but we have so much fun together. Did you, <laughs> did you make, did you make the, uh, the record in France? Yes. Really? We Where? made it in France. In Paris? Yes. I love Paris. How glamorous. Oh, yeah. It was so glamorous. We made a record in Paris. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, no. we had so much fun. Do you speak fun. French? Oh, no. <laughs> so I told you, I was completely lost in the studio. Like, he turned to the engineer and said, <laughs> And I'm like, Get yes, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, it's fun. See, in, in France, they don't call it a French horn. It's just a horn to them. <laughs> That, there we got the start of something going yeah, okay. on there. Yeah. You make a beat. Oh, no, no, 
No. Okay. Okay. This is getting worked up. All right. All right. Now you do be where you go. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Everybody in the audience do it too. Yeah, you gotta throw it away. Do you use cards on the X Factor? Do you have no, little notes no, in front of you? No, I don't. That's really why it. this show emulates to be like the X Factor. Oh gosh. <laughs> Except there are no super talented people other than the guests, of course, who are ever here. <laughs> Just me and Jeff and a horse with a deep voice. Oh, and and the cat with the third leg. <laughs> 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 Interesting that that's the thing that gets your attention. I mean, ladies, did it not get your attention? Uh, I know, I, are you sexually attracted to cats? Uh, no, I, I think the third leg is always interesting. Well, that's... Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> Let her speak. Remember the Bill of Rights? <laughs> hey, I'm... On the, on the X Factor, do you ever find yourself really hating some of the contestants? Like, be honest. Sometimes you just think, God, I wish they'd go away. Like, sometimes I do a little bit. I'm like, come on, you're ruining the whole show. Really? Okay. Now, I will say, when we did auditions, that was probably the hardest part, because there were some people who would come in there, and they'd have all these voices, and it didn't work out all the time. Yeah, I know. I... And there was this one guy who came in there. He was so sweet, but he had the voice of Elmo, and and I'm thinking to myself, baby, I don't know if this is for you. So and myself and Simon sat there and we're like trying to figure out another job for him to do just to make him feel better. That's nice. You know, that's a, that's we were, positive. We're really trying because he's singing Twinkle, Twinkle. I was like, oh, get the baby off the stage. And next thing I knew, Simon's like, you know, you might want to try animation. I'm like, cartoons, oh my God, puppetry. This will be great for you. We're trying to figure it out. But he's like, <laughs> it was crazy. Well, I mean, I don't mind so much people who are who are like that. Who are what's going on there? I don't know. Do, do you, oh, you want me to have a little uh, rummy chair? Want, See what's uh, no. <laughs> I just I know. Whoa, help yourself. Uh, <laughs> hey now, what's going on? My shirt is flirting with you. Your, your shirt is my doing just fine. I'm, I'm a big fan of your shirt. <laughs> I'm trying to go like this. I'm trying to be professional. See that? Look at that. That's how I'm doing it. Okay. Have you ever been sexually attracted to a contestant? Like, no. but you're like a doctor, so you can't be. No, what? <laughs> yeah, like, you know, it would be against the rules to- Yeah, no, it would completely be against the rules. That was like one of the first things they said, but no, not wait, attracted Wait, wait, sexually. what do you mean they, they said that? They said, like, you can't be getting it on with any of the contestants? Well, it's not professional. <laughs> well, call me unprofessional then. <laughs> Are you being unprofessional with your horse? <laughs> no. I don't know. It's not a real horse. You, you, I... <laughs> you said it, I didn't. How do you know that? I've had a, I've had a look around. Okay. So you're being unprofessional with your horse. You looking around? I, I'm pretty much unprofessional in every way I approach this job. <laughs> do you ride horses? Do you do any of that? Yes, I do. Do you really? I mean, I'm from Texas. Well, course. that's true, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. And you've got those trousers on that you could ride. They're nice trousers. Thank you. I don't yeah. know if I could ride horses with this. These, yeah. actually, when I throw this leg over, it might split. These are so tight, I can barely breathe. <laughs> but they're, they're really cute, though. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are. <laughs> no, it's true. But here's the thing. The, the, the pants are very, very cute, but if they were just here on their own, I'd be like, that's oh, just pants. I wouldn't even notice them. 
but you are in them. And I'm like, mmm, nice pants. Why, thank you very much. Let me see your pants. I don't, I don't think my pants no, are but that. You, no, but you have to stand up, because mine are fitted. That means you have to lift the, lift the back of your jacket up so I can fully see your pants. All right. Hang on. Quietly. All right. I hope you know what you're getting yourself into. What? Not a lot of women can handle middle-aged white man ass, but if that's what you want... If that's what you want to see... Yeah, I mean, I model my pants for you. You have to return All right, the favor. Then. Here's my pants right here. By the way, that little, that, what you felt there, that was the microphone pack. I don't have... I was about to say, he is really working out. That's a tight ass. No, that wasn't the microphone pack. That was, in fact... <laughs> what about, uh, what about your uh, singing uh, career? What's going on with that? What are you um, doing? I basically re uh, released an album the middle of this year. It nice. Was summer, called Talk A Good Game. It's such a sexy record. Mm. Um, and had a ball doing it, and then got into X did you get a Did you get a Grammy award? Um, we got a Grammy nomination, actually, for a collaboration that I did with Fantasia and Missy nice. Elliott. So nice. That's, that's good. Yes, we I got a Grammy nomination. I heard you I got, got a, a Grammy nomination. Okay, so have you been practicing a speech? Uh, there's no need for me to practice a speech. I, I got the nomination. That's as far as it's going to go. Now, why do you say that? Oh, come on. Everybody knows that. Okay, They're but like... you know your peers vote, right? You know that we vote, like... Yeah, but who are my peers? You know, the... the <laughs> there's Dave, J, NPC... Well, no, artists, no, no, but artists vote. You have to vote in order to get everybody... Well, no know. one's asked me to vote. Do I get a vote? Are you supposed to get a vote? You're supposed to vote. I, I would vote uh, if I got... I'd vote for your album. Oh, you're so sweet. I would. I don't. And you would vote for... Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> got it. <laughs> well, we're done. That's, uh, I got what I was after. Oh, what, is that me tapping your butt, or is that... Ooh, ooh. If butts are getting tapped, maybe we should stick around a little no! longer. Maybe a little music, or I thought yeah, you might call me or something, but no. <laughs> Fine. Just show a picture of Soren Kierkegaard. Yeah, oh, that'll. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, if this is what you want to do. <laughs> Hello? Hello, this is Soren Kierkegaard. <laughs> well, what a surprise. I thought you were dead. No, I'm still around, and I'm making great cheesesteaks. <laughs> <laughs>